Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode on Service Now. Okay, in today's tutorial, we will be we'll talk about assignment rules in Service Now and how they can save your work. Okay, so what is assignment rules in Service Now? Assignment rules are we to automatically assign work items such as incident or task to the right person or group. Imagine you are a superhero or with a superpower to automatically assign task to the right person or group. That's what assignment rule do in service now. Then you must be thinking, what are the benefits of it, right? Okay. Now let's talk about the benefits of assignment rule. The first and the foremost thing is efficiency. With assignment rule, task can be automatically assigned to the right person or group, which saves time and effort. This means you can spend more time sipping coffee and less time manually assigning tasks, right? <laughs> the second thing is consistency. Assignment rules ensure that the tasks are assigned consistent, consistently based on predefined criteria. So do, you don't have to worry about assigning a task to the wrong person or wrong group okay, by mistake. The third one is accountability. With assignment rules, you can track who is responsible for a particular task with increased accountability. So if someone goes, something goes wrong, you can, you know whom to blame, right? Okay. So this is all about service now assignment route and now let's jump into the demo and we'll see how exactly it works practically. So why I'm creating this tutorial first of all let's understand these things out. So as I'm working with some organization right okay where we get a tons of requirement around the assignment uh, assignment assignment rules right. So whenever this kind of requirement comes uh, for example if we came uh, we came up with the requirement that if the category is hardware then you have to assign this particular task to certain group. This is a behavior we want to implement okay so the developers first and foremost jump onto client script or business rules okay and create the unwanted customization on the platform so what i want instead of moving to the customization option first see if there are some configuration provided by service now okay on a system on a platform level which you can use for example assignment rule is one of the such thing right you don't have to write business rule or client script to get this job done you can do it via assignment rule with ease with efficiency right so let's get started so in order to create an assignment rule what do you have to just go to the uh, filter navigator and search for assignment and under system policy the rules model you will have assignment right so this is the assignment rules so these are all the out of the box rules present on the system. So let's create one rule on the incident table only. Okay, so what I will do, <coughs> I will simply do incident. Why I always land up to incident, right? A lot of people have this question, but I also have, I also share the same question, right? So we have incident open. So for an instance, let's create a new incident, okay? And we want to define a criteria that whenever a category is hardware okay and subcategory is oh, for an instance CPU or disk okay then we want to assign it to the database group do we have the database group or I change it out yeah we have database group so this is what we have to do okay whenever the category is hardware the subcategory is disk and configuration item for example let's take do we have computers no do we have what we have cpu or let's make hardware hardware should be there let's take some configuration item mm -hmm. no let's take computers okay if we have computers okay uh, then we have class as computer then we have to assign it to the database group now you don't have to write client script or business group for the same what you can do you can simply jump on to the assignment rule create a new one <coughs> and you can give it a name or we can give it a name as data base assignment and you can create it on any table okay any table task extended table you can insert a problem change anything you can do it so you can apply it to incident table it got selected and now you can simply give 
category as what is this other database right let's consider database and subcategory subcategory is for an instance disk okay then we want to assign it to which group database group right one more criteria we depend right and let's take configuration item or in configuration item we want class right so we can do show related field in that we can go for configuration item field and in that we we want class right classes is computers uh, computers 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 i should have choose something better okay so when our category is this sub category is disk and class is computer we have to assign it to the database done you don't have to write a single line of code for this okay and you can simply save it all so if i go back to the incident form if i reload it out just to vanish all the values if it allows me to do so okay i will reload the form leave and now if i select <coughs> caller i will give he will tutor or let's take anything i guess just an administrator only for now category i will say uh, select database sub category i will select as what we selected it was data it was software i guess let me check once because i think there are some rules <coughs> applied over here so with database what coming so database and sub category is let's take db2 i will change the database and i will change the to db2 and i will save it all so why it's showing like that because we have a dependency of category of sub category based on category right so it has nothing to do with this so and i will give test assignment rule and it will not get populated on on change right okay we have to save it out so if i save this out now it should fill out the assignment group so did it worked no why no because configuration item we missed right so we have to select some configuration item <coughs> which is of class computer so we will select that and if i save this now now the assignment group should get populated perfect so in this way you can use assignment group okay to assign certain things to certain group or to the assigned to also okay for instance you have the you have the option to select the users also okay if you want to assign it to certain user out now there is one more thing called script right now you must be thinking why script so consider a scenario you have the same kind of logic right okay so for instance you have if you have configuration at a then you have to assign it to group a if you have configuration at b then you have to assign it to group b c c and so on right so will you create if there are 1000 configuration items so will you create 1000 uh, 1000 uh, assignment rule for it no right that's where the script comes into existence right so for an instance uh, if you want to play around the same right if you want to play around if if statement or switch you can define anything out right if you have multiple key, use cases multiple iterations or you can say permutation combinations for assignment rule you can define it in this particular script so let's create one more example okay so i will um go back so i will go to assignment rule some move oh, i right so we will again go back to assignment as 
assignment okay and let's create one more and this time what do we want to do if a configuration item is hmm, what we can say okay let's try something out what we can do to, 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 to urgency okay perfect so let's make a condition if the impact is high and urgency is high okay then or we can say in simple words we can say if the priority is critical then we have to assign it to the lazy group because we want the lazy people to work on right so we will assign to the lazy group okay lazy group else we will as we will assign it to some different group okay just for instance so let's do that impact high urgency let's add all the attributes ideally you can add priority only but let's okay and we will give it name as punish lazy group we don't want lazy people right punish lazy group we can make it a criteria like impact is high oh sorry not this is impact i will make why it's happening with me this time i have this keyboard only impact is high and urgency is high okay then we want we will not do assign to this time okay so what we do is there is a clothes repeat given over here so what you have to do <coughs> if if you have to just use basic javascript current dot get value get of oh, get value of what is the back end name of impact we have to see and equal to equal to something and we'll add the same thing current dot get value of this is for impact and urgency okay i don't remember the value then we have to assign it to we can do current or we can simply copy it out right current dot assignment group will not go with display value because there may it can create inconsistency right because we may change the name of the group at the later point of time right and it will disturb the flow so we don't want this so if we get current dot assignment group and i will make it proper i dot set value this is wrong okay don't go like this make it proper set value of assignment group will be we have to pass the sys id you can also store the sys id into system property and use but i will not do it at this particular point of time and the same thing we will do else current dot assignment group equal to this okay so let's get the value first is impact and urgency so impact is 1 its back end name is impact how is coming i am using sn utils okay i think most of the people will be using sn utils now so impact and its urgency right and 1 1 so let's do that impact is 1 and then we have urgency is impact and urgency is 1 then what we have to do we have to assign it to this particular group right so we will open this record in new tab <coughs> and we will copy the sys id for the same okay and we will come over here and we will put it as this same call and this thing else if it's not impact and urgency is not high 
then let's assign it to some different group so maybe service desk i think there is a group called service desk right okay so we will open the record for the thing this card and we will do we will get the this id for it and we will hard code it out perfect right so let's so what we have done if current dot impact is high and urgency is high then we are assigning it to the lazy group because we want to punish them out else we will assign it to the service desk right so i will just save this out and then we will go to our incident i will just do incident dot come on oh, sorry do and now let's make it system administrator and i will make impact high urgency high and i will give punishment for lazy group and if i save this out then the sma group should get populated to to the lazy group right is taking some time <laughs> for lazy people system also became lazy right pretty strange hmm it should not take this much of time let's try Dot dot list. Hmm. So you can see the assignment group got populated as lazy group when the impact is high and urgency is high. Let's try to change it out. Okay. So if I make it medium. so it not works only on insertion it works on update also so if i save this out now and i will give it test if i save this out it will again take some time i don't know it didn't get change oh it works on insertion this is learning for me also so this is how it works okay so hope you like this particular tutorial out always try to go with configuration rather than going for customization wherever it's possible okay uh, this is all for today's tutorial if you liked it out please subscribe to my channel so that you will get notified when my upcoming videos till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you